AB Calculus, section 5.3, page 1. Okay, so today we are starting section 5.3, and we need to talk about some properties of definite integrals. The first one is a constant function, and we've talked about this before. This is just that constant C times the length of the interval, B minus A. Recall, this was because when we sketched this graph, we had a horizontal line at a height of C over an interval from A to B. which gave us this rectangle in here, height C, width B minus A. This next one is the um, property called zero. That should give you a hint to the answer here, but if we look at this, this is the integral from A to A of f of x dx. This is, if we take a look at a graph, some function here, f of x, and let's find the area underneath this function from some spot a to some spot a. Clearly, there's no area underneath there, same starting point, so no area here. The value of that integral is zero. Looking at this next one, the order of integration says that if we have an integral from a to b of f of x dx, we can reverse the order of those limits of integration, and then the sign of the integral changes. So the integral from a to b of f of x dx is the same as the opposite of the integral from b to a of f of x dx. Constant multiple, very similar to derivatives. When we have this constant here inside of this um, integral, just like when we had a constant multiple in front of a derivative, that constant stays with, or this time it can come outside. So we have k times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. And that constant just comes outside. All right. Also, just like for derivatives, if we had two functions that we were adding to find the derivative, we just did the derivative of each piece. Same thing here when we are evaluating a different definite integral. We can break this apart and say the integral from a to b of f of x dx plus or minus the integral from a to b of g of x dx. So separating over that addition and subtraction sign. This last property for now is called additivity. And if we look at what this says, the integral from a to b of f of x dx plus the integral from b to c of f of x dx. So same function this time. Let's sketch a graph and see if we can figure out what this looks like. We have some function here, some f of x. And this first one, I'm going to put that in orange. That's the in area underneath this function from A to B. That's this much. This second piece, I put that in this blue, that's the integral underneath the same function, but this time from some b to some c. And that's that area. When we look at the two of these added together, that is exactly that area from a to c. So this integral up here, integral of f of x from a to b plus the integral of f of x from b to c is the integral, I'm out of space here, let me come over here, the integral from a to c of f of x dx. All right, let's just take a look at a few examples here that apply these properties. 
Here's this first one, the integral from 1 to 9 of negative 2 f of x dx. Well, right up here you can see I've given you some uh, specific values of these integrals. And we see right here with this constant multiple in here, we can take this negative 2 and pull it outside of that integral. So this is negative 2 times the integral from 1 to 9 of f of x dx. And this integral from 1 to 9 of f of x dx was given to us as a value of negative 1. So we have a 2. This next one, the integral from 7 to 9 of the sum of f and h, splitting that up over the addition sign, we have the integral from 7 to 9 of f of x dx plus the integral from 7 to 9 of h of x dx. And pulling these values then from the given information, 7 to 9 was a 5 plus 7 to 9 of an h was 4, so we have 9. This next one, we can separate over this subtraction and at the same time pull out these constants. So separating this apart, we have 2 times the integral from 7 to 9 of f of x dx minus 3 times the integral from 7 to 9 of h of x dx, 2 times the integral from 7 to 9 of f is 5, minus 3 times the integral from 7 to 9 of h, 4, we have 10 minus 12, which is negative 2. Please join me on page 2 for some more examples using this same information.